morning on Mother's Day. I'm in my bird deterrent. And I'm going to show you my blueberries. This blueberry bush is about six feet tall. And it's a pink blueberry. And we had the frost that would have killed most of the plants. So I've got some pruning to do to kill the dead, diseased, and damaged uh, again. But as you see, this pink blueberry is doing absolutely beautiful. And I have many other species of blueberries that are growing beautifully as you see all the way down this whole line and back on the other side this is my concord grape that is leafing out beautifully over here is my hold that thought green um seedless grape hold that thought I want to show you the different leaf. Okay, this is the Concord grape. Ooh, move back just a little bit. This are the seedless green grapes, which are leafing out beautifully this year. Even though we had the frost, the frost, and I fertilized and sprayed all my trees and vines and kiwi and they are doing just beautiful. <sighs> I count my blessings every day. Let me zoom it in a little bit more. And these are goji berries. This is a unresponsive lie jujube. I gotta pull her out eventually. Behind this panel are my fig trees. I have to cut them back and allow them to sprout and regrow. Now these are my cuttings from my thornless blackberries and these are flowers. But right here, you see that they are leafing out. This is cuttings that I did in, I think March and they're leafing out. So the cuttings did make it and they're doing superb. I did some fig tree cuttings not sure if they've taken. I'll pull one of the stalks out to see if it made it or not. But as you see, all these stalks are from last year, early blooming in the thornless blackberry and the thorny blackberry. Two different colors, two different tastes, two different major sizes, but they are superb. So I'm taking my Amended soil, yet one again. Oh, and this is what I say, it catches Japanese beetles and unbeneficial flies, gnats, etc. It's soap, vinegar, and water with some holes in the top half. They fly in and they go to the bottom and then they die. And I change the water maybe every six months, depend on the volume of insects that's in there. I started it early because we had so many flies that were uh, starting to uh, come about. As you see, blueberry bushes at least three feet, four feet, and taller along this entire uh, bird deterrent right side garden. Take care. Be safe. You are loved. Your blueberries will handle it. They will survive. Hold that thought. I did amend everything with compost, back guano, and fish emulsion. But in the early spring, in addition to the spray fertilizer that I did with the neem oil soap and micro uh, risers that's supposed to be foliar feeding, but I am also giving them this year... We just got the um, bed guano, uh, mycorrhizers, etc., cocoa core, uh, pumice, and um, this is a different that I go from the uh, Hydro Depot. I did some research on it, and it's supposed to be the same thing I did in February and in March, and it's doing it yet again. I'm staying on top of it. I'm spraying one more time before the rain comes this afternoon. And make sure everybody is happy, happy, happy. Find your peace. 
grow, 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 eat healthy, breathe, you are loved.